everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I am unboxing today something I bought on Amazon after seeing it linked on one of the Facebook groups that I'm in for diamond painting. Um, I couldn't tell you which one I saw it in, but whoever it was that mentioned it, I don't know if you watch my channel, but I thank you. Um, I'm going to try it out first to see how well it works, but this might be an alternative for those who um, prefer to use the large trays like I carry in my shop, which look like this. I just got a large shipment in today, so they will be available in the shop by the time this video goes up because we were sold out. And I was waiting to do this video until I got this shipment in. Okay, so these are the large trays. And there, as far as I know, isn't a tower out there that is reasonably priced that will hold these. And some people like to use these only, these large ones. They don't want to use the smaller ones. So um, I did show a video on how you can use, you can s turn these into stackable trays by purchasing one of these from Bella Art de Nicole. They're pretty nifty. You just stack your, well, first you'd put this one on the bottom and then you'd stack this one on top and then you could put another tray on top of it. And so for each one of these, you could stack two trays together. So that's a way to stack them. But if you want a tower to be able to have them easily slide in and out of, that's what this is supposed to be. So let's open it up and see how well it works and see if it's something I'm going to use. Like I said, I got it on Amazon and it is linked down below in the description section of this video. I don't want to cut it. Now this is actually a cell phone organizer for like businesses that have a lot of cell phones for their employees and they need a place to store them. So it is made out of a wood type material and I thought it was something that was just going to snap together, but apparently not. It has screws. So I'm going to be um, putting this together and um, maybe I can do it really quick, quickly so that I can show you the end product. But they've included this itty bitty tiny um, Phillips head screwdriver to do this with. My poor hands will not be able to do that. So, and there's Tesla. The first time playing Minecraft on the TV and I'm so excited. Yep. And I know what to do, but I'm getting there. <laughs> yep, you're you're learning. Yep. So I'm I'll see what I can find if I can find something else, but there's quite a few screws here that you would need to put into place. The bag of it and yeah, so I'm going to get to work putting it together. together unfortunately they did not provide me with enough screws um, they were one short actually and one of the screws they sent me um, it's got metal in the it's flat I can't get a screwdriver in there so I can't use it I'm basically two screws short but I kind of distributed them in places where I didn't think it would be uh, where they could afford to be lost. Okay, so I had to skip on one here and on the bottom and here on the side. Oh, I can see where I'm showing. Yeah, right there. It takes four on each side, four on the back, and then two on the bottom. So it needs a total of four, eight, 
12 through 14 screws and they did not provide me with enough. So I will contact the seller on Amazon to let them know. Maybe they can send me some extra screws. So this is the end result. This is what it looks like when it's laying down. They call this the back piece or, um, yeah, or the bottom. So I guess as a cell phone holder, I don't know if you would lay it down or what, but I would be standing this up like so. And I don't know if you can really tell by the, in the camera view. Here, let's do it sideways. You can see it a little better. So they're deeper down here than they are up here. Um, it kind of goes at an angle. You can see, no, oh, well, yeah, you can kind of see how it starts thinner up here and it widens as you get down. Now, the thing is, these things can be pulled out and reinserted for whatever reason a cell phone would need to be done. And they are numbered. At first I thought these were screw holes and then I, as I got further down I realized they're not screw holes but each one has a hole in the side. So these can be pulled out to be cleaned or if you spill your drills inside you can easily pull it out to replace them into your trays. So yeah, see that's a one and then down here further you can see how many holes there are. So that's all those are for is just to indicate what order they go in the stand. So I'm going to fill this up with large white trays with spouts. All filled. So that is filled with large white trays. And then there is still room on top for three more that we can sometimes people use I do I use the top as well so there it says it holds 36 um, but if you include the ones on the top let's see it holds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so 39 trays total so this thing will hold 39 trays and because of how large these trays are, a, an entire amount of drills could probably fit into this tray that are needed. So you would not need to actually kit them up in a separate place and then as it, as it gets empty, keep refilling it like you do um, with the small green trays, which I don't mind doing that when I'm in the living room because that leaves less for spillage. And if I do spill, I still have my stuff that I kitted up available in case I spilled my green tray that was in the tower. But this is very sturdy. It is a wood-like material. I think it, it's kind of lightweight, so I think it's, um, you know, press board. Well, I don't know. You can kind of hear by what kind of material it is. It, I could probably look on the listing to see what they've listed it as, but... Yeah, if they were to give me all the screws, I would be perfect. Now we just need somebody to come up with a plug that fits in these trays so that we could put our labels outwards. I do have something in mind that um, I'm going to try for labeling these large trays. Um, I have the materials to do it. I'm not sure if it's something I will be selling in the shop, but if not, I'll at least be able to tell you how to do it yourself and make it so that these trays will be easily be um, recognized as to what's in them as far as you know kit it your kit what your kit number symbol letter whatever but in the meantime you know I will just write in Sharpie on the outside of one of these trays what letter it is I don't mind doing that and then reusing it by wiping it off with alcohol. That's what I do now with my other tray setup. I actually write it on here because it's not in a tower like this. I will write the letter or symbol number right there on the inside of the tray because I can see top view of everything that's in the tray. 
and so that's where I write it. The Sharpie doesn't always come off all the way on these trays, but they do come off for the most part good enough to where I can erase it and then put a new symbol on for my next kit that I'm going to be kitting up. So I actually like it. It's, it's not, I mean, it is kind of cumbersome. It's a lot bigger than the 3D printed trays. I can guarantee you that, but these are the large trays as well. So um, if you don't have an issue with animals or children knocking your projects over this would be a grand idea i like it for big trays if i wanted to do a kit where i was just putting everything in the tray and leaving it like that and it was in a safe spot like here in my craft room but i would not use something like this in the living room um but yeah, maybe one of these days I'll actually use it. I'm very limited on space on this desk. I am actually trying to um, look into making enough room here in the craft room for a table specifically for diamond painting for me so that I can use this table just for making videos and that would free up a ton of room on my table because a lot of the stuff on this table is for diamond painting and for when I do diamond paint. So, yeah, if I have a dedicated spot for my diamond painting, this will go into use until then I will have to just set it to the side because I am actually working on so many different projects right now. I've got kits in two different towers, one in the living room, one in here. I don't have room for another tower set up at the moment, but this is awesome. It's, you know, to just be able to put all your drills into one tray and to kit it up and leave it. I do have these trays in stock. I have, I ordered a hundred. That's why I was able to put 39 of them in here. I'm not sure that I will keep these 39, but I ordered that many so that I could if I wanted to, but I might just put all of them in the shop. It just depends on the demand. I might just place another order, who knows? So. If you are looking for something for your large trays, these fit into these slots perfectly. They're not a snug fit because the slots are actually wider. They have actually more room. If you have a wider tray even, I don't know, but they would fit. And it's solid material. And I will link it down below. Hope you enjoyed this video guys let me know what you think have you tried using this or something similar to it if you did how did it work out for you leave it leave me a note down below in the comment section let me know what you think and i look forward to seeing you in my next video don't forget to hit that thumbs up have fun diamond painting and um don't forget to sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone bye